New at 11, we have an inside look at the sometimes strange and often downright dangerous things people are trying to take on planes, but each and every one of them is not allowed to board. And all of these prohibited items also making lines for security even longer than they should be. Tonight, the TSA is giving us a revealing show and tell. Here's CBS 4's Ted Scouton. Well, we recently found this cannonball here. It's pretty heavy. You have someone trying to bring a cannonball through the security checkpoint at Miami International Airport. And that's just a mere fraction of what people have tried to carry onto an airplane. This was actually part of a child's costume, and it was given to our officer at the TDC podium. That's a fake grenade that TSA officer Samantha Wimbley has in her hands. That's not allowed to fly either, but it's more common than you think for people to try to bring items through security that don't see Seem like they'd be able to go. You need to remember that nothing sharp or anything that could be serving as a bludgeon should not be in your carry on bag. So you don't want the person sitting next to you on the plane having these items in their possession. Sari Koshetz is with the Transportation Security Administration. She tells us 110,000 people are screened each day at airports in Miami and Fort Lauderdale. In Miami alone, people left behind more than 10,000 pounds of items that they could not bring in their carry on bags. We realize that in most cases, this is an accidental placement in somebody's suitcase, but we also know that terrorists are still very interested in bringing down an aircraft, and we know that any day someone could be testing us. So we're going to find it, we're going to stop it. TSA is seeing a startling rise in guns. In 2008, 926 were found in carry on bags nationwide. Every year it's increased, soaring to more than 4,200 last year. By mid October of this year, Fort Lauderdale led the state with 80 guns found in carry on bags. Miami had 33. What is the reason most people say that they carry their, are trying to carry their gun through security? Most people say they simply forgot. We don't want to hear that. We want you to leave your gun at home. In many cases, those guns could have flown in checked bags by following proper procedures. As for some of the knives, tools, and many of the other items on this table, they could have flown too in checked bags. For passengers, it's all unnerving. What would you think if someone brought one of those and was sitting next to you? Um, well, they wouldn't be sitting next to me for long. <laughs> Once I found out, <laughs> I'm going to go into survival mode because I'm going to figure there's nothing good's going to come out of this. So here's the key before traveling. You want to go through your bag just to make sure that you don't have items in there that TSA is not going to want you to bring through security because some of these items, even though you're bringing them for innocent reasons, they may be threatening uh, when TSA takes a look at them or once they're on board an airplane. Now, if you have any questions, you can ask TSA at Ask TSA on Facebook as well as Twitter. In Miami, Ted Scouton, CBS 4 News.